So, this is the ladder friction you can see. So, let us see there is a vertical wall, then this is the horizontal floor. So, because it is a fixed vertical wall, so I will put this symbol because we know whenever anything is fixed, we will be using this symbol. Now, this is the horizontal fixed floor or surface. So, let there is a ladder, we know the ladder. So, let this is the ladder. So, I will read this as ladder. Now, this ladder is resting on the floor at a point let us say A and it is resting on a vertical wall at a point let us say B. Now, as we know the weight of the ladder will be always acting vertically downward. So, where W is weight of ladder. Now, this ladder resting at two points. So, ladder is resting at two contact points, two contact points A and B you can see in the diagram. Now, because weight of this ladder, there will be reactions in the ladder. So, let us see the reaction forces. So, ladder weight at a point A will be acting downward means this ladder is pushing the floor in this downward direction. So, there will be a reaction R A in the upward direction. There will be a reaction at point A in the vertical upward direction because there is a action, there is a force acting in the downward direction. Now, similarly, there will be a reaction at point B also. So, this ladder is pushing the wall in this direction means this ladder is applying force on a wall towards in this direction. So, there will be a reaction at B in opposite direction. So, now there are two reaction forces acting on a ladder. Now, so if we study the all types of supports. So, let us see the supports. Let us see the supports. If the support uh, is a fixed support like this. So, this we say fixed support. So, when this support is a fixed support, the body will not move in the horizontal direction and the body will not move in the vertical direction because there will be reactions. So, its weight is acting downward, there will be a vertical reaction, let us say this point A vertical reaction and there will be a horizontal reaction also towards in this direction or in this direction depends on the orientation of the support. So, this support is called fixed support. Now, there is another support called a roller support. You can see there are rollers like this. So, we say this support as a roller support. Now, so in the vertical direction it will not move means when you apply some force along vertical direction, this body cannot move in the vertical direction because there will be a vertical reaction. So, let us say this point is some B, that is a vertical reaction. 
Now, in this direction or in this direction, this body will move. So, like you can see, the stand of a you take some TV stand or uh, the fridge stands which are having a rollers at the bottom. So, we can move that stand about the horizontal direction. So, it is moving in the horizontal direction means there is no reaction. So, there are no horizontal reactions, but it will not move in the vertical direction because there is a reaction in the up, upward direction. So, it will not move. Down. So, if you consider that uh, reactions also, for example, if you assume these as a fixed supports, so we need to write its uh, horizontal reaction. We have to write its uh, horizontal reaction, vertical reaction also. Even here also, so you have to write its uh, horizontal direction and vertical direction. So, how many reactions will occur, will present, it will depends upon the type of support, whether it is a fixed support or you are uh, using a roller support. So, this is what the ladder friction. So, because of the friction only this ladder can stand on a floor or it can rest on a vertical wall. Suppose, if this vertical wall is a smooth wall, so this ladder will slip down and if this floor is a smooth floor, then this ladder will slip in this direction. So, that is why if there is a roughness, if the surface are rough, then the ladder will be resting on the corresponding wall or floor.